Hello students, welcome back to our new video session. So this video is for class 3, chapter 16, geometry, exercise 62. Question number 1. Name the points shown in the figure. So in this question we can see this is the first point and it is named as P. This is the second point and its name is Q. So in this question there are two points, point 1 point 2 P and Q so our answer is P and Q question number 2 name the points marked between P and Q on the line segment PQ so in this question we have to tell what are the points marked between these two points P and Q so we can see a, B, C and D. These four points are marked between P and Q. So our answer is A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Question number three. Name the line segments in each of the following figures. This is triangle X, Y, Z. So in this question, we have to write the name of line segments. So we can see X, Y, X, Y, Y, Z and Z, X. So our answer is X, Y, Y, Z and Z, X. B. This is rectangle. So in rectangle we can see AB is the line segment, BC, CD and DA. So our answer is AB, BC, CD and DA. C. This is square. In this line segments are PQ, QR, RS and SP. So answer is PQ, QR, RS and SP. Question number 4. Name the line segments in each of the figures given below. A. E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J and J, E. E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, IJ and JE. So our answer is EF, FG, GH, HI, IJ and JE. As we can see, this is pentagon L. M N O P. So in this we have to mention the line segments. So L M M N N O O P and P L are the line segments. So our answer is L M M N N O O, P and P, L. Question number 5. Mark a point P on your paper. Draw 6 line segments, each containing the marked point. Can you draw some more line segments? Yes. This is point P. Now, 
will make line segments. One, two. Three, four, five, six. These are line segments while crossing P. So, can you draw some more line segments? Yes, we can draw. One. Two. Three. So our answer is yes. We can draw infinite means many lines, infinite line segments. Question number six. Mark two points M and N. On a sheet of paper as shown. How many line segments can you draw through both these points? So this is first point M, this is second point N. Now how many lines we can draw with the help of these two points? So we can draw only one line. So our answer is one line. Question number seven. Look at the figure and answer the following questions. A. Where do AC and BD meet? AC and BD. AC and BD both meet on point E. So our answer is E. B. Where do PQ and AE meet? PQ and AE. So PQ and AE both meet on point P. So our answer is P. Where do PC and QD meet? PC and QD. PC and QD meet at point E. D. At what point do AD and CD meet? AD and CD. So AD and CD both meet at point D. E. Name seven points in the given figures. A, B, C, D, E. Sorry. P, Q, E. So we will write A, B, C, D, E, P and Q. F. Name seven line segments in the given figure. So in this figure line segments are A, B, B C C D D A P Q A C and B D.
So seven line segments are AB, BC, CD, DA, AC, BD, and PQ. Question number eight. Write the names of the rays from the figure given below. So what is a ray? Ray is a line segment extended endlessly in only one direction. So line segment OA extending endlessly in the direction of A and marked by an arrow mark at A representing a ray OA. So OA it is represented by an arrow. So OA OB OC OP OQ OR OS and OT This is our answer Question number 9. Fill in the blanks. A. A line segment has dash and points. So, this is a line segment A and B. So, this is the first point, this is the second point. 1, 2. So, 1, 2. This is a 2 and points. It has B. A line has dash and point. This is a line. It is extending infinitely from both the directions. So it has no end points. C. A ray has dash end point. So this is a ray. It has one end point. So our answer is 1. D. A line segment has a dash length. So we can see this is a line segment. It is having definite length. So our answer is definite. E. A line AB is represented by this. F. A ray AB is represented by this. G. A dot represents a point H a point shows a definite position question number 10 in the given figure a name the horizontal lines so the, we can see this is a figure we have to tell about the horizontal lines so first is SR and second is PQ. So our answer is SR and PQ. B. Name the vertical lines. So vertical lines are SP and RQ. C. Name the oblique lines. Oblique lines are SQ and PR. SR and PQ are horizontal lines as well as sleeping lines. SP and QR. SP and QR are standing and vertical lines. SQ and PR oblique as well as slanting lines. Thank you and have a nice day.